So I've just come off a lesson with a student, Jamie, who probably just like yourself, he's been driving the ball everywhere, right? Right, left, struggling with distance. And his friend comes up to him and says, Jamie, just press the reset button. That's all you gotta do. And, it's, and he's like, I don't have a reset button. I have no idea. I'm trying everything and nothing seems to be getting that driver down the fairway with any kind of distance. Does that sound familiar? Well, what Jamie said to me, he says that he stood over the golf ball and he feels like he's got like a million and one things going on in his head and none of it seems to be working. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna share with you what I shared with Jamie and I'm gonna help you or give you a reset button, okay? If you imagine this, this golf swing takes a second and a half. What's the second and a half? That's the second and a half, right? That is not enough time to be thinking of a million things, but if you're hitting it terribly, what do you do? You need a simple strategy to get yourself back on track so you can start hitting the fairways and gaining some distance. That is exactly what I'm gonna give you today. Something that is super simple and is gonna completely clear your head of all this unnecessary kind of thought, all right? But before I get into the video, look, if you are new to the channel and this is one of your first videos of mine, please consider subscribing. I release videos like this every single week to try and help you improve your game. Plus, you never have to remember a thing. I'll always put a free download or practice guide in the description box below. So a lot of golfers hit it like that, but I'd love you to hit it like this. Now, I'm not saying you are gonna be able to hit it 300 yards by the end of the session. In fact, that is completely unrealistic. But here's what I wanna do. I want you to start to get some effortless and accurate distance to your driver, okay? Now, to do that, we're gonna do it in two stages. The first stage, I'm gonna give you some momentum. You've gotta get some momentum into this club head. Nobody does this, okay? And this is the first part of your reset. Most of the time, you know, most golfers, I don't know if you're the same, but you've been trying to kind of put the club into all these various different positions. But what that does is it starts to create this kind of stiff wooden swing that doesn't have any flow or speed to it. That just robs you of all your power and your accuracy. So once I've got that momentum, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you control it. So you don't wanna be get generating loads of beautiful effort speed if the ball's going everywhere. So then I'll show you how you control it. So let's start with the momentum first. A golf swing in its simplest form is a circle that comes all the way back and all the way through. You don't want movements like this and all over the place, so how do you get rid of them straight away? Well, look at this. If I hold the club in my fingers and I just let the head and momentum of this club swing, it's got some rhythm to it and I'm forming a pretty good circle. I take that sensation, hold it, and I want you to do this the same if you could, so you can feel this, swing the club in your fingertips, backwards and forwards. Feel some momentum in this club. Take your time to do this. It will feel out of control and people get scared of this kind of almost out of control feeling. But I want you to feel it first. Now as you're doing this, you'll start to feel the club getting some momentum around impact, okay? That's the first stage. Feel that momentum. What I want you to do now is this. I want you to ask yourself, with a driver, a well-struck driver, we want to return the club at impact with almost the lead arm and club forming a straight line. It's a strong position here, like this. We don't want to have this kind of flicky motion. So as I swing backwards and forwards, I'm going to keep that in mind. Backwards and forwards. Now if I stay back like this too much, what's happening? The club flicks. So what I'm going to do now is this. I'm not going to try to force this angle forward. I'm just going to start to kind of feel it and find roughly where my body or what my body needs to do in order to get more of this handle lean forward without me trying to force it. How many tips have you seen? Put the club in this position, get your elbow stuck in here. These are all things that you're having to think about in one and a half seconds. When actually, once you start to allow the momentum of the club to go, all you've got to do is start to associate, right, this is a good strike here. What does my body need to do? Feel it, give yourself, and you can feel it more, the more you let this club flow through. Look at what I'm doing with my body here, yeah? Also, note from this angle, notice the circle I'm creating. How consistent is it, yeah? Now, if I suddenly stop my body quickly, I'm gonna lose all power, I'm gonna get flicky, yeah? So look at this. There we go. So that is goal number one. Do it your left hand, right hand, just get a real sense of it. And then what I'll do is I'll start to make some practice swings before each shot I hit. And what I'll do is, is I'll just get a sense of that momentum. And as I'm doing this, 
what, you, what happens to your body is, is once it starts to kind of sense that club, your body will start to naturally organize itself and put it into a place which is going to be useful to generate some speed. For example, if I'm back here, I can't, my, I'm, I just naturally feel my body's in the wrong place because I can feel that I can't really generate any speed. But watch this. Now I can. Once I get my weight forward, I can really feel that left, left foot's going to be used to generate speed. This is too complicated, but it all happens naturally once you become more aware of a free swinging club that has momentum, all right? It's so, so important. So you can start with a couple of practice swings before your shots, feel that momentum, and then gradually start to apply it. So we're going to go into how to control it in a second, but this is stage number one. Simply, all I'm going to do here is not hit it hard. I'm going to feel some momentum in this club. But just let momentum go. Let's see what happens. Look at that. 273 yards, and you probably thought, I haven't really hit that, okay? That is what momentum gives you, okay? Now what we'll do is let's start to look at how we start to control that motion. So it's time to add a little bit more control to this element. But you can see even with that shot there, you've still got control with a free flowing club, but this will give you like a security blanket and give you some more consistency and power. So one common thing is golfers, we've just said, have a free flowing golf club. But one factor they also have when they come through, if you look at any great player, this right arm here, or the trail arm, and the club form a beautifully straight line. They have, in a sense, what we call width through impact. The arms are very straight. The arms, in a sense, stay the same distance apart, pretty much through the impact area. This is a place that you don't see most poor drivers, most amateur golfers. Most amateur golfers tend to get buckled. The arms are like this through impact, as opposed to this. They might be flicky, they might be chicken wingy, but they don't create this motion. So what I want you to create, and I'll show you how to do it naturally, is this is the goal by the end of this little section. I want you to create this beautiful circle where ultimately leap, both arms are quite close together, the, the club's pointing straight out in front of us, and what this is doing is creating a beautiful circle going through the shot so you've got consistency. But I've just said you've got one and a half seconds. How do you think of all that stuff? You do this. Start with one hand at a time. Get that momentum backwards and forwards. Now notice this, if I do this, is that the position I, I want you to be in? No, I want the right arm and club forming a straight line. So let's just try this. Am I forcing this? No, I'm just trying to go for it. Can you see what's happening? What's my body doing to create that right arm and club forming a straight line? Can you see a difference? Watch this. What's my body doing? Leave a note in the comments, see if you can spot it. Okay, now I don't know exactly all the intricate details of what my body's doing. You don't need to either. My point is, is once you have this motion, you're trying to achieve this, your body will figure it out for itself exactly what it needs to do to create this beautiful flowing motion through the swing, yeah? My body's working it out, yours will do too. Do the same with your lead hand, okay? Feel what it's like, okay, to get that lead arm and club forming a straight line through impact. Look, you can see here, I can feel it, my hips are open, my chest is starting to open through the impact area. I'm not thinking those things, I'm allowing momentum to happen, and I'm allowing my body to achieve that motion, okay? That's what I want for you too. We wanna to take all these millions of things that are happening in the swing and create one simple image. So I take my club now in both hands. I feel that momentum again. And all I'm doing here is I'm imagining the club, my forearms staying quite close together, okay? But in a way that's still flowing. If I start to stay still, look, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be stuck. So my forearms now are gonna spread apart. I'm gonna get a bit bendy, a bit flicky. So I'm gonna imagine in my hand, I've gotta get somewhere here. Why is my body, there we go. Just make that the goal and my body will respond just like yours will, getting this extension through the impact area here, okay? Then we simply start to apply it to hitting a shot. So I get myself set, make the motion, and I'm now trying to rehearse this, look, notice this, in a flowing manner. And I'm, I rehearse my position, I look at my finish, I go, okay, yeah, my arms are fairly straight. Now, of course, they're gonna bend at some stage, but this is the most important bit of your golf swing, from here to here, okay? So get that sensation, I've now got a feel of my arms are just gently pressed together here. Get myself set, swing it back, swing it through, let's see what happens. There we go, there's an extra 10, 15 yards, right? Beautifully straight. 
So we start with that. You've got momentum. We've added a bit of control and now we're up to 288. Again, I'm not expecting you to do any of this. This, what we're doing here, no matter your age or ability, will work, I promise you. This is your reset button, okay? Finally, the final point. We've talked about momentum. You can have momentum if you set up in a static position. And nobody really tells you this. And you just don't see top players doing this. With top players, they're always moving around and they have their own way of doing it. And I want you to develop your way of doing it. What they have is a constant movement. It's like a dance, the golf shot. You're kind of finding movement, but in an, kind of an attempt to get precision. And I get it, you lost control of the ball, so you want to be precise. What we do is we kind of go for this kind of checklist of stuff. Bang, 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 bang. Don't. And then you go, Danny says, I've got to create momentum. I can't, I'm like rigid, yeah? What we want to create is flow, yeah? So this is not a swing we want. That's not the swing we want. That is, there's no momentum there. And it's gonna be a huge loss of distance when you do that, right? What we wanna have is, we wanna have that flow from the start. So here's something I have to get my players to do. When, they're, when, they're, uh, when they struggle with this, is sometimes it's just kind of finding a routine, it's walking to the golf ball, but sometimes I do this. I get them to position 100% of the weight over on their lead side, get the right heel, a trail heel, just off the ground, just like this. And what I'm doing is I'm giving them something to do in the backswing that is gonna create a little bit of momentum on the way back. It's almost like I'm putting, when, I get, when, that, when it goes down, they almost put 89% of their weight on their trail foot, and that gets the momentum on the way back allowing me then to come through with some momentum because what you'll find, which is brilliant and beautiful about this, is that when you create momentum in one direction, your body then starts to naturally respond by moving correctly in the other direction to then pause and then accelerate that momentum. It's kind of a rhythm that you're getting into, but you can't create rhythm from staticness, yeah? So, I'm not saying copy this, but I'm saying find your way of adding movement. I mean, just been speaking to my off camera, uh, Leo, my videographer, who said he kind of does this by like bouncing, you know? It doesn't matter. Whatever it takes for you to create some momentum in this swing. So for me, I don't know what I do. I just do it naturally, but because I feel like I'm getting myself ready. It's like a ready position, yeah? I'm getting myself into a ready position, and it's like maybe similar to Leo, just kind of bouncing here, okay, so get myself set. Let's see if I can launch this just a little bit here, nice and relaxed. A little bit off the bottom of the club there. One goes far, I don't think. Yeah, 299, didn't quite strike that one. But look at the freedom that I've got with this. That's what I want for you, okay? So use this video as your reset button. Start, add some momentum, get a sense of where the club head is. Trust that your body will start to organize itself and move that club correctly. It really will, you'd be amazed. Secondly, add some control to this motion, get those arms a bit more closer together, feel how that works in the backswing and the downswing, and then make sure you have a dynamic setup position, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. Do me a favor if you did, give it a thumbs up, maybe share it with a friend, but do me a favor. Watch this video right here, because this will complement the driver perfectly. This is your reset button. Once you've done that, move to this one here, okay? Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember, there's a free download practice in the description box below, but until next week, have a wonderful golfing week.